Well, I can tell. Let me see if this thing's working. I got to get in the shade. Oh yeah. Hey. Yes, sir. Well, I could tell the day was going to be a knife day. This guy is a returning customer named Ron. We did a few big things for him last July or August. I can't remember which. Today he's got a hatchet that he found in the woods. He's got a brand new hatchet. Never been used before. This is a... Something. China. I sharpened it for him last year. He used it a lot. You can see the big nicks and stuff along the blade. I hope you can see them anyway. If not, they're there. But they'll come out. Callie will take care of them. And then he brought me a machete. Looks like made in China. Okay. And his last ticket, it says uh, Jack Daniels on it. Pakistan. Isn't that something? God. Then it gets better. I got a call this morning from a lady. She had some knives. Her knives are in this towel right here. And she said her neighbor had some knives. And a lady, her neighbor's got a bunch of nice heckles. You can see a whole set of heckles. And in here, the original contact lady, she's got one big 8 inch multi chef's shun. It's got a few microchips along the blade. One, one big one on the front, a couple small ones down through the blade, which is just the nature of the beast. And then she's got two of these uh, CIA, Culinary Institute of America, Hyde Park. My first encounter with any of these. Santuco, which we already knew, a 7-inch Santuco. And then she has another CIA, a little para knife, 3.5-inch para. It says German steel, as does the Santuco. And then she's got two that I can't tell what they are. There's no marks on them. I think they're just heckles. Oh, what's the awesome. I don't know. You can see something just barely makeable out, but pretty nice knives. And of course, like I said, all these are heckles. The Professional Series. Ice hardened. They're all the same, the same. So I got some action today. No spinning. It's a beautiful day. It's 75. Hardly any breeze. Perfect day for spinning, but I'll be paddling and grinding and polishing. I got to get to it. They, these leaves go, leaves go go back this afternoon. These I don't have to take back till Thursday. So stand by. I'll be back to you. Well, I carried back all the uh, heckles and the uh, CIA's and the one big shun to the ladies this morning. Then I came back and I started working on Ryan's stuff. I got them all finished up, ready to deliver it back to him tomorrow. I'm not going to show you how sharp the hatchets are because I got them all taped up, but they're plenty sharp. Yeah, these are my uh, boning knives from my grocery store. I just finished them up. He's, he didn't want them until next week, so I just had to do it while I was on the Cali. I got a phone call about an hour ago. Guy had a shun he wanted me to take a look at. Said it had a little broken tip and some chips on it. Whew. I'd say. It's a little six inch chef's knife. I don't know that you'll be able to see the chips with this camera. You might be able to if I take it outside. Stand by a minute. I hold it against the background of the box, the shun box. You ought to be able to see them. At least I hope you can. Because I'm in the sunlight, I can't see the damn screen on the camera. 
but I'll just run along slow here. Maybe you can see them. Like I said, ain't much of the tip broke off, but a little bit. But you can see she's got some major chips in her. But we'll get her back in shape. Okay, stand by. I guess I'll go detect it tomorrow, maybe. I saw somewhere where you can't. It said a lot of knives. This is a sharpening thing. A lot of knives will uh, cut paper like this easy. But a lot of them won't cut paper easy, real thin. That's the way the secret is having them to cut like little wafers, little, little feathers. But they're all cut. This one's got a bad nick in the front of it. This big old Pakistani job. Here's that big long sword looking machete. She got a nick right in the front too. She cuts good because she gets right to that. She got by that time. You see it? Get that nick? Watch. Right there. Other than that, he's pretty sharp. But big old machete job. And this Chinese machete. I don't know what kind of feel though. I don't think it would be very good, but it's a little sharp. You wouldn't think they would. But for an old nasty machete. You get sharp as you want. That's all of the sharpening, paper cutting, etc. On to the shun. You want carnivore? She's finished. She's back in action. High polish. Highly sharp. Six cent shun chefs. Fine taquito.